presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, why is it that your alternate theme is showing the slide text twice? How do you fix that? Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever run into a situation where you make an alternate theme and for whatever reason it's uh, showing the text twice, go ahead, like this content, give me a thumbs up, all that fun stuff. So this is something that is really easy to do by mistake. And so I thought that I would go through, show you what was causing it, and uh, we could go from there. So let me show you what you've done, and then we'll go from there. So here we are in ProPresenter, and let me uh, go ahead and get my mouse over here. Okay, there we go. Alt in. There it is. Okay, now, now that we've got the mouse over here, let's go into the theme editor. So, theme editor. And let me first, I'm just going to go create a new theme just so that we have a blank slate. Let's call this uh, double text just so that I can show you what is going on here. Now I select this text box. Now let's say that instead of having it here like this for some reason I want it to be up here and I want it to be much bigger so let's make the text I don't know like a, a hundred okay so if I type in there let me highlight that yeah that should be good it's not as big as I wanted it to be um, Yep, see, that didn't actually take, so let me, having highlighted it, let me make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so there we go. That's good here. But what you might want to do is go down here to linked text and say, oh, I want to have the current slide text, um, current slide, and then the text in here. Okay, maybe you want to show the notes, whatever. But you do, you're saying that you want to have the current slide text in here. So that's good. You go back into show mode. Let's find a uh, song here. Okay, so I'm going to right click here and I'm going to select that theme, which is actually. They're in alphabetical order. I should have remembered that. And notice as soon as I do this, current slide text shows up, but this also shows up. So if we're looking, this is still keyed over. Um, I can pull that out. And let's make sure that I'm um, on a screen. Yep. So. Notice it says, this is italics and this is italics. It's showing the same text in two places. But if we remember back in our theme, so going back to theme editor, I only have the one text box. So what happened there that it's showing in both places? Well, let me explain something to you. ProPresenter actually... Let me do this. So ProPresenter wants to show the text that is in the main slide. It just does. And it assumes that any text box on the slide, the first text box in the slide, is the one that it's going to show it on, unless you've told it to show something else in that slide. So let's uh, head back over here and clicking on this link text instead of showing the 
current slide text, I'm going to show the notes in there. And let's go back in here. And now I'm going to apply that theme. I almost did that same thing, scrolling the whole thing. Okay, so I apply that. Now in the preview it says current slide notes there, and then it still shows this as italics. If I click back on it, well, the current slide notes, because in this particular slide there are no notes. So let me click edit slide here, and let me type these are the notes, and then go back to show. Oops, show mode. That previews it, so click on that, and notice now it says these are the notes, but this is italics is still showing up. So what's going on there? Well, the this is italics, that is actually the text on the slide. So that could be uh, like in Amazing Grace, that could be Amazing Grace, that could be scripture, that could be whatever that is. So since this text box is earmarked to show something else, ProPresenter says, oh, I don't know where to put that, so I'm just going to put it where it is in the main theme. I'm just going to leave it where it is. That's all good. That's what I'm going to do. So let me show you how to fix that. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go back into the theme editor, slick on, click on that, not slick on it, click on it. And now I want you to uncheck link text. Now that's going to be counterintuitive if you were thinking you needed to use link text, but basically what that's saying is put that text into that text box because it's not doing anything else. So even though with link text and current slide text, you would think it would put the current slide text in there. But since it's a link text box, ProPresenter is saying, oh, I don't know where you want the regular text even though it's the same text. Because there are situations where you would want two copies of the same text on a slide, like if it was an ultra-wide screen and you wanted it in two places, things like that. So, basically the answer is you uncheck linked text there so that ProPresenter can use this text box that you, can, that you have here. And if we right-click and go back to the double text theme and apply it, look, all of a sudden it does what you expect it to do. So, if it's the case that you have double text on a slide, usually the reason is that the text box that you've created is linked to something, and then ProPresenter is putting that text wherever it is otherwise. Now, while I'm here, let me show you uh, something else that you can do. Let's say if you wanted to show the uh, show notes. Here, just to put that, I said show notes, just the slide notes. If you wanted to show the slide notes instead of the text that's on the slide, then we go into Theme Editor again, and now we're going to add a second text box. So we've got this first text box, this guy. We've got that and I'm gonna this time on purpose link it to the notes. So that's linked to the slide notes. And then for this second one, instead of link text, what I'm gonna do is go to the shape and select visibility. So this second text box is where ProPresenter will put that information. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say when 
all the following conditions are met, I could just as easily select any of the following conditions are met. Either way, choose type, text. Right now, when it has text, it will show it. I don't want it to show it when it has text. I want it to only show it when it doesn't have text. So now, if we go back and I right click and I add that theme to it this time, then you'll notice that it shows the current slide notes and then the this is italics is there, but as soon as I click on that, it doesn't actually show that because it doesn't show that when it has uh, text. It only shows it when there is no text. So that's kind of the workaround. You have to actually tell ProPresenter, okay, slide the slide the slide text into this box, but then hide it. So that's how you can do that if you wanted to show the notes instead of the main text. So that's what that's about. So just to sum up, if the slide has double text, chances are ProPresenter doesn't know where to put the main text, even though you said that it was linked. So unlink it. And that will solve that particular problem. If you actually don't want it to show the main text, then use the visibility to show that text box only when there is no text in it. And therefore, when there is text in it, it won't show it. So that's how we get around those problems. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number six and uh, tdm.fyi slash pro the number seven and quick give me your name and email address and you can take that course for free until next time this is paul allen clifford from trinity digital media.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity